Hi, maligayang pagbabalik sa Dimensions. Ako po ang iyong lingkod, Patricia Aguilar, mula sa BSHM 501. Isa na namang makabuluhang talakayan ang ating pag-uusapan at pagkwekwentuhan para sa araw na ito. Kaya tumutok na, tayo'y magbabalik pagkalipas lamang ng ilang minuto. Muling nagbabalik ang inyong lingkod at upang umpisahan ang ating talakayan, ang una kong babanggitin sa inyo na pinakamahalaga sa larangan ng baking ay ang Pastry Brigade for Operations of Pastry. Alam nyo ba bilang isang hospitality management student, ang pangarap kong posisyon sa aming industriya ay ang maging isang executive pastry chef sa hinaharap. Bakit? Dahil pag ikaw ang pastry chef or executive pastry chef ng iyong sariling cafe, lahat ng desisyon ay manggagaling sa iyo. Sa planning ng mga recipes or mga product na iyahain nyo sa inyong customers, sa executive pastry chef lahat yon manggagaling. Kapag kasi narinig nyo yung departamento ng pastry, matik na yan eh. Malalaman nyo na kaagad na kailangan nakaseparate siya from the hot kitchen. Kailangan meron silang sariling cold kitchen kasi sa cold kitchen, doon usually ginagawa lahat ng mga preparation for the cakes, different types of cupcakes, and uh, uh, kahit anong pastries, sa cold kitchen siya ginagawa. Kaya hindi siya pwedeng i-combine sa usual na kitchen na nakikita natin. Kumbaga, kailangan nila ng cool environment at disiplina. So, bilang uh, HM student, gusto ko yung ganong ano, eh, vibe, gusto ko yung ganong uh, scenario na lahat ng taong makakasalamuha ko while working is disiplinado. And then, syempre, si executive pastry chef, meron siya mga kasama sa ano, business niya or yung mga tinatawag niya na employee. Lalong-lalo na doon sa mga pastry shops, uh, cafe, na sobrang laki. Ito yung mga usual na makikita niyo doon kasama niya while working. Una na dyan is yung bread baker or in French is yung volanche. Si volanche, um, usual talaga nakakausap siya ng head pastry chef. Ay ng uh, executive pastry chef. Bakit? Kasi every time na merong i-re-release na bagong product ang specific establishment, uh, pag may ari ng, yun nga, ng executive pastry chef, lahat ng ideas is manggagaling sa ating executive pastry chef. So, si, si Bread Baker, ang pinaka-head, siya ang mag explain dun sa mga kasama niya pa sa kusina kung ano yung mga details about the specific product. Meron din tayong tinatawag na ice cream maker or in French is glaze. Meron din tayong tinatawag na candy maker or in French, confiture. At ang ating dekorator. Pero kapag ang isang medium size establishment or yung mga pastry shop is maliit lamang, lahat ng trabaho ng ice cream maker, candy maker, ng bread baker, lahat yon ginagawa ng executive pastry chef. Dumako na tayo sa pangalawang bahagi ng ating usapin ngayong araw, which is baking as a profession. So, ito lagi ko tong naririnig. Hindi lamang dito sa, hindi lamang ito yung unang pagkakataon na narinig ko to. Even nung mga nakaraang year, is naririnig ko na rin to sa mga major subject teacher ko. Paano nga ba ang baking as a pro- pro- profession? It is intimidating at first, but once you let your love for baking get the best of you, those hard times will just an easy obstacle you can jump You can jump to being an executive baker in the future, but in the field of baking skills, of course, will not cut it. Especially if you are weak, weak-minded, and have strong pride, you will not survive for too long, because baking is all about precision and errors. 
are not welcome. To become a baker, you must be eager to work because baking requires to be strong physically and mentally. It will be tiring but if you endure it, you can be promoted and your body can handle tougher tasks and you will pick up unique skills, master it day by day without noticing it. Baking requires commitment and discipline on learning because recipes will be often nude or improved because they might be a change of cause of the ingredients or the current recipe is not working pero hindi natin kailangan sumuko as a baker you you will need to find a new ways new techniques maraming pakulo to develop new skills para mas ma-master mo siya lalong lalo na ma-master mo yung isang recipe So, that's why studying is very important. Hindi perket nasa field ka na, okay na, that's it. Para ka rin kasing teacher, every day, you should learn. You should learn something new na makakatulong for you, lalo na kapag nag-put up ka na ng business. Lalabas tayo sa real world, and hindi ibig sabihin na nakalabas na tayo sa real world, ay doon na natatapos ang journey natin. No. Tayo ang gagawa ng sarili nating uh, pat para makuha yung success na tin, uh, inaasam natin. Uh, who are your baking uh, priorities or sino ba yung mga gusto mong mapaligaya dahil sa products na ginagawa mo? Well, syempre, your customers. Uh, as a baker, as a executive pastry chef, The fuel for the dedication in baking is having a pride and humility. Because it will tested in this field uh, who you are. And then, at the same time, hindi ka lang nagtatrabaho, hindi ka lang nag-handle ng business para kumita. Bukod sa matuto, dapat na andun yung commitment. Sa food service industry, lahat pwedeng magbago everyday. Even the recipe, pwedeng may lumabas na bago. So, as a business owner, as an executive pastry chef, dapat kaya mong i-handle lahat ng risk na pwede mong pagdaanan. Lahat ng mga pagsubok, lahat ng mga trials na pagdadaanan mo. Dahil naniniwala ako as a student, pag ako ay nasa outside world na, which is uh, nag-handle na ako ng business or I'm working with a establishment, kailangan... Ready akong matuto. Committed ako para matuto. Next is, aside sa matuto ka, kailangan nandun yung dedication mo sa service. Bakit? Kapag dedicated ka sa trabaho, hindi mo maipapakita sa customer mo na hindi ka masaya sa ginagawa mo. Sa food service kasi, it's about serving. Respecting guests, kahit hindi ka nag expect ng kapalit from them, kung may ma-receive ka man na hindi maganda from them, just smile, just handle it. And then, as well, respecting for the workplace. Gaya nga na sinabi ko sa baking, kailangan ng disiplina. If you want to work with uh, an establishment na disiplinado ang mga tao, you should learn to respect. And then, baking and cooking professionally mean bringing enjoyment and a sense of well-being to the guests. Laging Lagi nating ipapriority yung guest, yung iisipin nila, yung i-expect nila, at yung accommodation na deserve nila. Pero syempre, hindi naman ibig sabihin na meron kang dedication to service, commitment to learn, eagerness to work, is wala ka nang ititira for yourself. Syempre, meron tayong tinatawag na professional pride. Sa professional pride, there should be a balance between confidence and humility. Tandaan, bakers are specialist pastry maker. Kung ikaw ay gusto mo is maging specialist for pastry, and lahat ng ginagawa mo is something to be proud. Dapat something to be proud, virtues, or dapat proud ka kung ano yung na-achieve mo. Kung natutunan mo to, you should be proud. Kung na-perfect mo to, you should be proud of yourself. Dapat balance, wala, wala kang ipapakita na mayabang ka or something. You should be virtuous. 
Ang pangatlong bahagi ng uh, ang podcast na ito is yung concept from our previous topic na talagang may idea na ako noon pa man. Which is yun yung baking as a profession. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, nabanggit ko kanina yung mga different job positions na meron sa uh, pastry brigade. Which is yung bread baker, ice cream maker, candy maker, and even the decorator. Yung mga yun kasi is first year college pa lang inaaral na namin. So, every year na nauulit siya, talagang tumatak na siya sa akin. And, doon ko rin kasi nalaman kung anong anong klasing trabaho talaga yung gusto ko after graduating. Which is, yun nga, yung maging isang executive pastry chef na merong sariling business niya in the future. Ang ikaapat na bahagi ng programang ito is yung concept na I want to know and gusto ko pang matutunan. Ang ikaapat na bahagi ng programang ito ay may kinalaman sa kung ano ang mga konsepto at terms na gusto ko pang matutunan at nilulok forward ko na matutunan ngayong taon. At ito ang history of baking and pastry arts. Kung paano siya nagsimula, sino ang nakaimbento, at sino ang sino sino ang mga nag improve ng lahat ng naimbent during the history of baking and pastry arts. Ang naiisip ko kasi about the history of baking and pastry arts, uh, nagsimula siya 1800 years ago, tapos iniisip ko rin kung gaano siya kahirap for them na ma-discover na, ah, pwede pala kaming magluto ng ganito, na using grain or yung husk, rice husk, na kailangan lang palang Uh, pinuhin using green stone and then it accidentally na nabasa ng tubig then sinubukan nilang i-mold tapos siguro doon nila nalaman na tong specific na to na, na dough pwede palang lutuin kung iisipin ng iba na hindi talaga totally interested sa field ng hospitality management uh, parang to weird ganon pero hindi sa panahon kasi na to napaka ano ng tao eh as long as na na discover nilang pwedeng lutuin pwedeng uh, pwedeng gawing pagkain and yun na that's it wala silang pakialam sa technicalities sa mga sukat-sukat basta na discover na nilang pwedeng kainin kakainin at kakainin talaga nila then Tingin ko, tingin ko noon sa so history nito, uh, they using fire. Alam naman natin, ang fire, uh, pwede ka makagawa ng fire using two uh, kawayan, uh, kahoy, anything. Basta kukuskus mo lang sila sa bato or something. Then, that's it for them. Tapos, during the history, I think, wala silang oven. So, Parang palaisipan para sa akin na paano nila nagawa yun during that time before Christ era na na-discover ng mga uh, Egyptians, ng mga Greeks na ah, pwede palang gumawa ng tinapay with simply using of flour, water, rice husk o yung crane. Tapos, napaka-ano lang, napaka-amazing lang kung iisipin na During that time, nakagawa ba sila ng 80 to 100 plus na breads na invent nila. And, uh, siguro yung mga Roman Empire uh, almost collapsed in the Middle Ages of bread making and nearly extinct kasi they being this, uh, parang mag na sila sa recipe for that. Pero, during that time, siguro, wala naman talaga silang, ano, about, wala silang pake or care sa technicalities. Tapos, yun nga, uh, 1400s, uh, 1400s years ago, yung mga French people, nag-decide ba sila to take away the pastries from the bakers? 
maybe because since there are no other types of breads during that time to made. So the French people decided to focus more on pastries and they succeed. For a long time, French people were the only ones that bake and made pastries that cannot be rebuilt in the year 1492 nung mga yung mga Europeans that time nag-adventure sila around the world America then nakadiscover sila ng mga different mga bagong creation siguro and then naisip nila na bumili ng mga products na yun at dalin sa bansa nila then the minds of French people ah uh, Uy, pwede itong pag, ano, pagmulan ng trabaho na kapag nagtinda kami ng ganito, pwede kaming kumuha ng tao para tulungang maging malakas yung manpower. Unlike, unlike before, uh, where it was one French people that mostly know baking and making pastries, guilds in 16th century, standard to protect a honor, baking and further develop it. And with the guidance of master bakers, Uh, let the apprentice learn by their sides to pass down knowledge of the past and hopefully let it bloom and further pass it down to the next generation. Kasi in 17th century, there was a new type of dough na na-create at tinatawag nila na laminated dough. Yung dough na to kasi daw, uh, ang natatandaan ko, it was folded with water and created a unity of bread. And pastry that further developed new recipes noong 18th century. And then yung sugar was known, made cheaper. And yung baking daw is, was more accessible to more people dahil sa asukal na naproduce na rin siguro nila that time. Then, meron, meron din dalawang libro na na-create at nakalagay doon yung tungkol, aba, tungkol sa baking. Then, pinangalanan nila to na The Art of the Miller. The Bread and the Baker and The Pasta Baker written by Paul Jack Mo- Mollin. And the second book, Major Bloom About Major Bloom About Baking Breads was written before, I written in 1778, and pinamagatan siya, the perfect bread baker was written by Anthony Augustine Pamentier. And until now daw, uh, it is says in the book that the history of baking from how it was made to almost extinct. And kasi ngayon, fully hundreds of recipe ang meron na sa bawat books na nai-invent about baking. And more to be discovered, these two books are foundation of baking today and highly recommended na basahin natin. Lalong-lalo na doon sa mga kagaya ko na uh, nagsisimula, para, nagsisimula pa lang na tahakin and isipin kung ano ba talaga yung work na gusto ko in the future and as well as the business na gusto kong i-handle in the future. And para sa huling bahagi ng programang ito, uh, gusto kong matutunan, ma-experience in the future sa lahat ng nabanggit ko na topic is maging pastry chef or executive pastry chef na magmamayari ng isang cafe, restaurant na magsuserve ng different pastry products na hindi lang basta matamis, hindi lang basta uh, maano ang amo, aroma, maamoy. Gusto ko din na makapag-serve ng healthy pastry products for them, lalong-lalo na dun sa mga health conscious. Bakit? Kasi sa field ng hospitality management, kailangan hindi ka lang nag stick sa isang idea. Dapat open ka sa lahat ng idea, lalong-lalo na kapag magpuput up ka ng business. Bakit? Kasi sino nga ba ang bubuhay sa business mo? Aside from your product, syempre, yung mga feedback ng customer and the customer as well. To be part of this industry is isang karangalan. 
Dahil hindi ka lang basta-basta nagka-create ng product for your customer. Marami ka rin na inspired na mag-sumikap sa buhay at abutin ang pangarap nila in the future. Yung next na topic is yung concepts that I'm looking forward to do in the industry. Siyempre, makapag-work ako sa brands. Why? Uh, sa brands and other European country kasi gusto ko ma-experience yung real world when it comes sa larangan ng baking. Gusto ko makapag-work doon as a specialist or kundi man specialist is yung uh, goal ko na maging isang executive pastry chef. Then, next one is I want to have my own business and at the same time, ako rin yung mag-handle. Uh, pangatlo is mas maintindihan ko pa yung history of baking and pastry arts through the help of the other people, yun nga sa Europe, uh, looking forward ako na makapag-aral din doon para mas mahasa ko pa yung uh, skills ko, yung talent ko, and mas marami pa akong matutunan. And for the last part of th- ng program na to is yung concepts na natry ko na. Well, ang natry ko na as of now is to sell baked products, kagaya ng ubi cheese pandesal. And aminado ko na hindi siya madali. Dahil una, hindi naman ako yung naka-invent nun, and sumasabay lang lamang ako sa uso. And pangalawa is yung makakuha ka ng uh, mismong target market mo na talagang tatangkilikin ka everyday. Ako po ang iyong lingkod, Patricia Aguilar. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat.